Pastor Joseph is uh, pastors in a great church in Norway, but we have become covenant friends, and he is here today to bring a blessing from heaven this morning. I want you to welcome Pastor Joseph this morning. Come on, Pastor. Now, can we give Jesus that praise one more time? Hallelujah! I can't hear you this morning. Hallelujah! The Bible says in Psalm 118, verse 89, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. And then it tells you where it is settled. It is settled in heaven. He didn't say it is settled on earth. Why? It is you that God has commanded to settle it on earth. That's good. You and I have to get up there and pull it down. He gave you the responsibility for dominion. You have to do it. You have to say, I take authority in the name of Jesus who settled it in heaven. I've got to know who I am in Christ Jesus. I am not just some, some phoebe wibby wobbly knee Christian who is just trying to get by and afraid if anything is going to happen to me. No, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. My strength is coming from him, not from me. It takes understanding and faith to bring down the settled word of God to manifest here on earth. The Lord gave, me, gave us the word from Acts of the Apostles 16, 25 to 34. Paul and Silas in prison, they were in shackles. Yes, they were sir. bound. They had restrictions in their rooms. They couldn't go out. They had oh, their yeah. own restrictions. They were not only shackled hand and, hand and leg, but they were shackled to the floor where they were. And the Bible says, at midnight. At midnight. What, what is the midnight hour? The midnight hours are the dark times. Quiet is maybe cold. Nothing is happening. But at that time, when people should be sleeping, the Bible says, with these guys who were in shackles, who were in restrictions, they couldn't do what they want. Yeah. Their freedom was stripped from them. They were beaten. They, they bled. It was dark. Yeah. It was gloomy. It was hopeless. They had seen others, others killed. And now they find themselves in the same situation. But in spite of that, what did they do? They began to pray and praise. They began to pray and praise. And the Bible said, and the other prisoners heard them. Which means they were loud. Because according to that, script, that place, that they told the jailer, make sure you keep them well. And the Bible says, oh, I love this part. It feels as if God in heaven was listening to their music, their song. And the Bible says, heaven is the throne of God and the earth is his footstool. <laughs> Watch this. So, so God had his, had his leg on the earth and he's sitting on heaven. And there he's watching these two guys who are in restrictions, who should be complaining to him, saying, oh God, have you forgotten us? Have you gone on holiday? Are you in Disneyland? If God created music, he must enjoy music. And as they were singing, God began to tap his leg. Oh, I love that music. And as God began to tap his leg on the earth, it created an earthquake in the prison. The shackles that were broken were not only their shackles, but yeah. all others who heard them. Yeah. Yeah. Could it be that the freedom of the people around you is dependent on your praise? Could it be that the freedom of your family members are dependent on your prayer? It's not a time to give up now. Let nobody shut you in. Be like blind Bartimaeus. When he cried out to Jesus, Jesus, have mercy on me. And the people stole him. Shh. Instead, the Bible said, he lifted his voice and shouted even louder. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. And their shackles were broken. And the Lord said to me, this year, Joseph, you be loud with your prayer and praise. Be loud. Let the world hear your praise.